In today's video we're going to look at files and how we can search files. Um, so today I'm going to open a text file which contains one word on each line. Um, we're going to write Python code to open that file, read each line of the file and let's have a look at the text file. There it is. So this is my text file I've typed in one word on each line. So when I press the enter key, this will give us a new line to type in the next word. So let's have a look at the code. And here is my Python code. Now I've saved this code onto my desktop. You can see I'm saved onto the desktop here. And this text file is also on the desktop. So what's going to happen here? Well, let's just put this browser down. So I've got a text file called words.txt saved onto my desktop. I've got a Python program file, search.py, which is also saved onto the desktop. Now, what I want my code to do is to open the file, read a line, check to see if the string that it's read is of length in this case we're going to check for the length of the word of 3. So we want to check if it's uh, the length of 3. Here the word the is the length 3 and we've got another word the which is of the length 3. We want to count how many three letter words are in this file. So first thing we have to do is open the file. The file is called words.txt so we enclose the words.txt in quote marks, either single or double, and after a comma we'll put the access code, the file code, or here we've got R, R stands for read, so we're going to read this file, and the open method, this is a, a file method, <coughs> it requires these two arguments, the name of the file, a comma, and then the second argument is, in this case, R for read. It could have been W for write. Now the file object created is file1. And in the code, we're going to refer to this file with the name file1. Now we're going to be reading a string from the file until the file ends, until we reach the end of the file. Here we've got to the end of the file. So when we open the file, it's open at the top of the file, ready to read the first line. Now we need to know when the file has ended, so we're going to check to see if the string is an empty string. So as long as the string is not an empty string, if we get to the end of the file, then there's nothing more to be read in this file. Then if you attempt to read at the end of the file, it will read an empty string, which is quote marks without anything between the quote marks, not even a space. So as long as our string is not equal to an empty string, then we're going to read a string and we're going to strip the white space from the string. Now remember when we created this file, we typed in the word today, we press the enter key which would include a line feed character backslash n which is a, an escape sequence. Now if you type in enter this will give us a backslash n. That actually counts as one character length. So an escape sequence does count as a string and <coughs> its length is one. So if we have today with the enter backslash n key pressed, then this will actually count as a length of six. So we need to strip off that new line character from the end of the string. And we can do that by using the strip string method, which will take the string and strip off any white space, such as a new line or a tab, or a space character from the string. So the beginning of the end of the string, if there is any space, that will be stripped and you'll be left just with the text of the string. 
So let's look at this again. We want to count the number of words that are of length 3. Now in this case we've got this one and this one so there are only two. First thing we do is open the file for reading and we set the string initially with a, a dummy value so that when we get down to the while statement this will be true. The string is not equal to an empty space. Now we're going to set a count to zero because we want to add to that number later. If we find a word of length of three, we need to add one to the count and put the result back into the count variable. So let's uh, recap. We open the file for reading. We set a string to a dummy value. You could have any text here. We set the count to zero and then we're going to do this loop. So this is going to repeat as long as this is true. So as long as the string s is not equal to an empty space, then we're going to read a line from the file and assign that line to the string s. Then we're going to strip any white space from the string and assign the result back into the variable s. Now if the length of the string s is equal to 3 then we're going to add 1 to the count variable. When we get to this point here we're going to go back up to check to see if s is not equal to a empty string and we're going to read a new line and assign that new line to the s variable. We strip the s string of any white space and assign it back to the variable s. Then check to see if the length of the string is 3. If it is, we add 1 to the count. Now, by the time we get down to here, once this line has been read, then if we read another line, it will read an empty string into the variable s. Now, if this is false, then we're going to continue after the loop, print out the count, and then close the file. So, this program, this file, this text file, has got two words of length 3, the words the. When the code runs, it's going to print the number 2 and there it is. If you want to count the number of four letter words, here we've got one and we've got two and three. So if I change this to four, when it runs we will see the output is three for three four letter words. Okay, so if we want to count the number of, let's have eight letter words, here we've got two eight letter words so it's going to print two when this runs and there it is so if we want the number of 80 uh, words which have got a length of 80 obviously we don't have any of those words here so it's going to print zero and there it is okay so this is a simple program that's going to read every word in a file until it reaches the end of the file and tell you how many words are of a specified length. So what we're doing here, we're searching the file, we're going through every word in the file, every string, every line in the file, and we're searching to see if the length is equal to a specified number. Now if we wanted to, we could <coughs> search to see if the string is equal to a word is equal to another string so let's change this a little bit let's say if the string is equal to a word so let's have the I could have used single or double quotes then we're going to add one to the counter. So in this case, it's going to search for the word the. Now in this file, we have two words the. So the result, when it runs, will be a count of two. And there it is. 
Now if we search for a different word like uh, hello then we don't have the word hello here so it's going to run with a count of zero. There it is. So we're doing some searching in the string. We're searching either for the length of the word or um, if the string is equal to a certain string and uh, this works very well, it's very simple code. So in the next um, in the next movie I'm going to talk about uh, different types of searching algorithms. Now this particular one we're using a, a linear search, a sequential search. We're going through every item in the file starting at the beginning and going to the end. That's known as a linear search. So I'm going to show you another movie showing you a linear search on a on a list instead of a file. And then we'll look at a different sort of search known as the binary search. So at this point I'm going to finish the movie.